So for number 33, we want to see if the sequence right here, if it converges. Um, and now a sequence AN converges if, um, if AN tends to a specific limit as N approaches infinity. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the limit, the limit as N approaches infinity of AN, um, and see if it approaches a specific number. Uh, now this guy on top, this negative one to the power of n, um, this is just going to alternate between negative one and positive one, because if, if n is equal to one, it gives us minus one. If n is equal to two, uh, minus one squared is one, uh, n is equal to three minus one, and then one, negative one, and so on. And so we can see that this is just going to alternate between one and negative one, right? So what we're going to do here is take the absolute value, which um, we're kind of going to just separate these, right? So let's take the limit um, as one approaches two square root of n as n as of one over two square root of n as n approaches infinity. So we, we've kind of left this momentarily to the side. Um, we've just taken the absolute value of it, right? Which is just one over two square root of n. And we're gonna see how this behaves. Well, um, two, when we go one over two square root of n, um, when n tends to infinity, it's like dividing by a very large number, right? one divided by an infinitely large number, this is going to give us zero. And so if one over two square root of n as n tends to infinity gives us zero, it doesn't matter um, whether the top part is outputting something that's positive or negative, right? Because negative one times zero is still zero, and then positive one times zero is still zero. So because in this case, uh, so because the absolute value of a n, uh, the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a n is equal to zero, then uh, a n, um, then the limit as n approaches infinity of a n is also equal to zero, right? Because anything doesn't matter, positive one, negative one times zero is also equal to zero. So a n uh, approaches zero as n approaches infinity, therefore, for um, a n must converge. So all we've done here is we've shown that um, the absolute value, the limit of it tends to zero, and so the sequence must also tend to zero. The sequence, no, sorry. Uh, yeah, the sequence.